Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a Honda lawnmower here. It's very difficult to start. I'm going to show you step by step how to repair it and you're going to see that it's not that hard to do and not that expensive. So what I've got here is a Honda HRS 216 lawnmower and it's got a GCV 160 engine. And this engine here has an auto choke system and that's what's causing the issue today. So what I'm going to do now is try to start it. You're going to see that it will not start. And this is quite common. You have to spray fluid in the carburetor to get it going. However, if you do stop it and you go back to start it, it's quite difficult to get going again. So I'll try it out now. And I'll take the air filter off and spray some carb cleaner in here. You'll see that it will start. So you can see when I spray carb cleaner or quick start in the carburetor, it starts right away, runs perfectly. So now at this point, I'm going to show you exactly why the auto choke is preventing this machine from starting. Well, the culprit for this is this thermal wax cartridge that is part of the auto choke system on this engine. It's a small cartridge like this with a small pin inside that comes out as it heats up. So as the cartridge heats up, the pin comes out and opens the choke. And this is part number 16620-Z8D-305 from Honda. And the way you can tell if the thermal wax cartridge isn't working properly is that you're going to see the choke butterfly will be opened up in the carburetor. It's the flap down inside the carb there. If the little cartridge is working properly, that choke flap should be totally shut when the engine is cold. So because it's not shut, the engine cannot suck in enough fuel to get itself started. It's going to make it extremely difficult to start. You're going to have to spray some starting fluid in the carb like I did earlier. So what I'm going to do now is take this all apart take the thermal wax cartridge off so that you can see exactly why it's not working anymore and I'll be using my impact with a 10 millimeter socket so I'm just going to leave the carburetor here like that this plastic piece will come off and just take note of where all the gaskets are and this is where the carburetor was bolted the thermal wax cartridge is right here so now you'll need a pair of pliers to just go in and remove it. Just grab it and pull. So this black plastic piece here goes where the cartridge is in here. As the pin in the cartridge comes out, it moves this lever here, which in turn opens up the choke on the carburetor. So with the pin sticking out, as I mentioned earlier, it's always keeping the choke open like this, so it cannot get the proper fuel when it's cold. And if I compare the old cartridge here to the new one, you can quickly see why there's an issue there. The small pin is protruding out of this one, even though the engine is cold. You cannot push the pin back in. On the new one, the pin is hardly out of the cartridge. And that's the way it should be when it's cold. As the cartridge heats up, the pin will come out and open up the choke on your engine. So with this pin sticking out like this all the time, even when it's cold, the choke is not totally closed and it's making it extremely difficult to start the lawnmower. So now to repair this, it's quite easy. Just insert the new cartridge in there. Push it in all the way. And now when you put the parts back together, there will be a gasket right against the plastic cover. This is the one with the bolts here. Then just slide the bolts through here. This gasket here goes right at the front of the carb right here, just like that. And next is this part here for the choke. And then this gasket will go right here. And also don't forget to connect the vent tube here on the plastic part right there. Now this is the trickiest part is getting all these in the right order. Again, make sure the tube is under the linkage. Next, put this gasket here and the choke part and the gasket now line up the two bolts here right there now just get the bolt started 
and now I'm going to connect the vent tube here to the connector. And now I'm going to finish tightening up the bolts by hand. Don't use the impact to retighten your bolts. You could easily strip the threads. Now I don't have the torque specs, but use common sense, tighten them up evenly. And now if you look inside the carb, you can see the choke butterfly is fully shut and this mower should start right away. And make sure your fuel valve is on. So as you saw there, it's amazing how quickly the lawnmower will start when the choke is on properly. It was quite obvious with the old thermal wax cartridge that it wasn't working properly that way. And it is a common issue on these Honda lawnmowers, so I do keep these little parts in stock. Or if I'm out of them, I'll order two or three at a time and just keep them here because I know I will need them. And again, here's the old thermal wax cartridge. The main symptom that you will see if it's bad is that the pin is sticking out. And here's the part number again. You can get this from your Honda dealer. And don't forget to reinstall the air filter and the cover. So thanks again for watching guys. As you just saw in the video, it's not that hard to do. And you can see how this tiny little part can make your lawnmower so difficult to start. If you do have a Honda lawnmower with the auto choke like this one, it could be that that is your problem if your mower will not start. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and have yourselves a great day.